Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Brian Boyle from Brian Boyle Music and the Producers Forum, back again with yet another Pro Tools tutorial. After the last post, I got a request to do a video on the TCE tool, so that's what this one's going to be about. It's the Time Compression Expansion tool, and we'll start off with your TCE preferences, uh, then how to change the tempo of a loop, how to duplicate, how to turn a loop on and off, and then shortcuts for pretty much all that stuff. Alright, so the first things first, uh, if you're using the TCE tool, you're probably going to want to change your preferences. You go up to Setup, Preferences, uh, over to Processing, and you'll see the TCE plugin window. Uh, the default that it comes with is DigiDesign TCE. Uh, the quality isn't great, uh, but it's just the default, so everybody's got that one. Um, if you have a different one uh, highlighted, I suggest you probably use it. It's probably a little better. I have my Waves Sound Shifter selected, so I'm going to select that and just hit OK. Alright, so in this session you can see we've got uh, three different loops here. we got uh, a Rhodes keyboard, uh, a shaker, and just a drum beat. Um, the problem is that they're all at different tempos. So I'm just going to go ahead and play it for you. You can take a listen. And you'll actually hear the click track playing in the background and uh, take notice that all the loops are at different tempos. So here we go. Alright, so what you're hearing right now is the click at 88 beats per minute, and we're eventually going to change all of our loops to that tempo. So I'm working in grid mode up here. I'm going to make sure that my resolution is set to bars. Just zoom in a little bit. And I'm just going to alt click and drag to copy out these files to the start of the tempo change to 88 beats per minute. Alright, so this is where the TCE tool actually comes into use. Uh, to select it, you can come up here and you can hold down on your trimmer tool and select it. Or you can use a shortcut and use Command 2 to select your trimmer and then Command 2 again to select the TCE tool. I'm going to zoom in here and I'm actually going to just compress or expand the region depending on whether or not um, you know it's too fast or too slow. So you can see here that the road sample is twice as long as the drums. So if we just hold shift and select both of those and hit command D, it duplicates out the drums to fit the whole loop. Now let's say we want to just loop this whole section. The way that you do that is by selecting what you want. I'm going to take the cursor tool up here and just highlight these four bars. And then I'm going to hold command shift and press L and that changes my loop playback up here. That changed from not being looped to being looped, so this is what it looks like. It goes back and forth. And once that loop is on and you've got a particular section highlighted, it'll just loop that back. So let's take a listen. Alright, so that's it for this time. Uh, there's lots of creative ways to use the TCE tool. Uh, I've done things like put arpeggios into a groove or uh, made a mashup, something like that. Um, if there's a creative way that you like to use the TCE tool, please leave a comment on the video, let us know. And if you found this video helpful, you guys, please follow me on Twitter at Brian Boyle Music to stay up to date on my latest Pro Tools video tutorials. And you can also check out my website, brianboylemusic.wordpress.com, to stay up to date on new production tips and hot new artists to watch out for. That's it for this video, and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.